Elon Musk. So um, this is uh, this is an Elon Musk topic. Mm-hmm. He said something that a lot of people do not agree with. The internet is mm-hmm. very, mm-hmm. very. Um, they're very split and uh, very on, divided. Yeah, they're very divided. So normal. This, this is the, the, this is normal internet. So. Yes, yeah, normal. No, <laughs> normal. No, 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 no. everyday okay. business. Okay, okay. On the internet. I'm gonna tell you this. You tell me what you think. So Elon okay, Musk. I don't know what's going on. Elon yeah. Musk said. Working from home is morally wrong when service workers still have to show up. I want to mm. know your thoughts. This I, is a hot topic. Yeah. Anyway. It's a very, uh, because I like, it's a very hard topic because of the work from home. Like, what do you, what do you think? Just, oh, like, what do I think? Yeah. Yeah. I was about to tell you. Oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Go on. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So I think like, some jobs you just literally cannot do from home. Like, so I think that argument that um, it's unfair is just like, it, it just is not like needed sometimes. Like you don't like need to be in person for some things like, but if you're going to be, you know, like coding on a specific database that you need to be in person for, or it's like, some sort of like proprietary stuff or like you're physically like making chips or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like then you obviously need to be in person, but I mean, the other one is that if your position doesn't need to be there, then like in your position can work anywhere. Like I think there's more incentive for people who have the ability to work somewhere else Mm -hmm. to not mess around because yeah. they enjoy the fact that like like that's like a benefit yeah yeah it's true um you know my first initial thought is when he said that it's like oh he you're gonna sign me up no (laughs) no no he's like you're gonna have coders right next to service like the people who are like making these automobiles in your tesla factory and you're just gonna have the coders and then you're gonna have these people right next to them and it's like you just want everyone in the in the office so here let me this Mm -hmm. is the other line that he that he gave here yeah elon musk called silicon valley engineers a part of laptop classes living in la la land and said laptop they classes? should get off their moral high horse and work mm. from home bs so he has very mm. strong opinions about this and i i like you know a lot of the things that you said it's like like it mm. like some jobs you have to be there like yeah. it makes sense but other jobs you don't have to be there and i mm. personally don't understand it's like you know i think it's like having the flexibility or just i feel like he's drawn this hard line in the sand yeah. saying it's like it's like everyone should be there yeah. where in reality it's more of like a gray area mm-hmm. where people should have the flexibility yeah, I, I definitely think that the flexibility like should be there. I mean, if anything, it's definitely at this point a perk mm-hmm. or a benefit for a working company. Like if you can like offer someone work from home position or like or like hybrid of some kind, that's definitely a value add and kind of like a how would you say like an unspoken benefit. You'd have to like cost it out differently or like when you. When so okay, so this is like a, a different top. Well, not different topic, but like, so when you're calculating benefits for someone for a job, you do a cumulative benefits package. So when someone offers you a job, they're gonna say like, okay, this is the base pay, but there are benefits that like the company offers that bring your pay your your pay yeah. to a certain amount. Like okay, so we match this amount, yeah. and then and that would be one of the benefits because you would not have to like commute in and like depends on how much you value your time so like if you're commuting from far away and your commute's like an hour you're saving two hours a day and how much do you value two hours a day yeah or how much gas are you spending how much whatever you know like there's a lot of things that could be added towards that so like in terms of a benefits package i don't see why there might be a divide and I don't see why they don't do this, but like not suggesting that they do, but I could foresee 
companies paying people who work remotely less because they see that as like a large benefit. Yeah. So they would ha- not have to pay as much for like an incon- inconvenience to go into office. Yeah. And it'd be more of an incentive for people to to go into office. If their their plan is to pe- make people go into office, they should make it like incentivize going into office. You know what though? This also reminded me. You just sparked my you sparked my memory about this, oh. and it sparked uh, my memory about Facebook, and it sparked my uh, it sparked the memory of the metaverse and oh, how yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, how he wanted it to be the next place where you're where you fully work, remote, yeah. fully remote, but in a virtual space where um, you, you could, could co- yeah. still collaborate. Yeah, which I think. Um, I think there's two different things. Um, I think that, oh, yeah, I think that you, um, I think working from home is good. Mm-hmm. I think, I feel like there's so much different things. I feel like Elon Musk wants people to work from home. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg wants people to ver- work virtually. And then to, yeah. and everyone, I think, just wants flexibility. I think, yeah. yeah. Like, there, I think I really like the option of, hybrid work Mm -hmm. where like there's definitely flexibility in terms of like going in or not um but that's only because my position allows for that to happen so where most of the meetings i have are through um through webex so it's like there's not really a need to be in person only for certain occasions but i mean do i think that there's a value add to be in person and to meet people well yeah there definitely is but Mm -hmm. if it's more con- like is convenience for the cus- the end customer or whoever you're working with more important than the like value add of being in person you know like like it's pretty convenient for a lot of people to this like vtc into a meeting versus yeah. like to be in a physical conference room and how much of a value add is that physical presence when you're thinking of like okay well now you're gathering everybody to go into one place Versus like, okay, you know, like they might be doing something else and like they can, instead of having to like manage meetings in terms of like, like, oh, you know, like I have to like calculate time from one meeting to another, like the walk over, it would just be like, okay, I will go from one meeting, meeting ends early. I just literally press another meeting and then I flip to the other one. Yeah, it's, um, I think, yeah, I think honestly just being virtual is like, it has a ton of benefits to it. Yeah. Um, honestly, it's like sometimes I feel more. Pre- I, I feel like it's like in on mm-hmm. days like because I am a hybrid. It's like I like some days are some days. It's like I'm more productive inside the office. Other days I'm more productive. Yeah. Outside. It just depends. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like just as productive doing both. Mm-hmm. I think it's like the one thing that I like as a hybrid employee really like is the, yeah. the flexibility of of having that option. And I think it's like when you draw things like like Elon Musk saying it's mm-hmm. like, oh, it's yeah, one way or the like, other. Yeah, it's one or the other. And it's kind of uh, it, it kind of like for me, it kind of deters me from even thinking that, you know, it's like um, this. I think that it's hard because it's like you guys, you're literally saying it's like everyone should just come in. And I don't yeah. think it's just it, it's not that there's a lot of things happening that he yeah. just can't have that. But he, he I think he did also mention in the interview that there's some exceptions to this rule. But for the large part, I think he like he wants people to come in. And yeah, uh, I, which I can see in, in different aspects of it. Like in his mind, maybe he sees people coming in as like more committed to the cause or more committed to the company. Yeah. So that you, might be a thing. So you did you hear about this interview? It's like it was an interview no. with CNBC. He, he there was a bunch of other things that went on. Oh really? Interview. Yeah, I actually watched it. Um, there was other things they were talking about, like some of the things. He's, Should we? Talk no, about it some other time. Uh, uh, we can talk about it some other time. But it's the one thing I just was gonna say is like mm-hmm. he doesn't really like care what he, he tweets out mm-hmm. as a person as a CEO. So it's very interesting. Mm-hmm. So even with this, it's like you are, like even with uh, just talking about working from home and you saying yeah. all of this, it's like you kind of are deterring some people from even applying to your company that might be, be a really mm-hmm. good fit. And um, if you you, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's just that's just one of the things that I was thinking about. It's like this is like being someone that's in the spotlight saying something. So um, I wouldn't say spotlight. I think like 
the spotlight or like the sun is always shining on Elon Musk. <laughs> I will say that. For, yeah. Because like he is on a different level than us mortals, us us lowly people that like hybrid and like the idea of working from home. Okay. Because okay. like because like think about it this way, he he does not care. Like does he care that he's being canceled? Like no. No, he doesn't. He's a he billionaire. Does not, he, he's a billionaire. <laughs> multi-billionaire. Yeah, multi-billionaire. Like, he's yeah. been on like the top of uh the world in terms of finances for the longest period of time. Like so what if you cancel him? Like L- let if, me... I'm, if I'm being honest, like like so what? Yeah, true, true. You know what? You reminded me. He too. owns Twitter. That, yeah, he owns. Yeah, he you know, owns what do you get cancel platform. on Twitter? He, yeah, he owns true. it. He's gonna he's gonna suppress you. Um, <laughs> so, oh, no, the other, the other thing that the other thing that I uh, was gonna talk about too is that um, yeah. you, just, you just you just reminded me about this. It's like his his work and our work is completely different. His work, um, his work as a CEO is different from mm. the people who are like the servicemen or the people yeah. who are the coders so it's his true. he could say that he's working 48 hours a day but <laughs> i'm just saying yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah yeah he's saying though like i'm working 48 hours a day but his work looks completely different that's um, true but it reminded me though that mm. elon musk played elden ring he had a level 121 character i googled this there. and uh, i looked at the amount of people who had a character around that level and the lowest i saw was someone spending 48 hours to get a character to that level and i have a hard time imagining that elon musk spent um 48 hours a day (laughs) no 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 48 hours in total but i have Mm. a hard time believing that he spent only 48 hours yeah i think he spent mm. more playing games but i'm just saying he might consider that he's, working uh, sam bankman free in these yeah. <laughs> meetings he's like yeah i'm multitasking you know my brain so powerful but, but play games been in the sense he he could say that that's working because it's like i don't know what that is considered mm. but we don't fully know uh, and he could even be doing that somewhere else where when he's like at home or whatever i mean like if you think about like when you're the CEO, like any type of inspiration technically is work. That's crazy. Like yeah. if you're the ideas guy, like he's running multiple businesses, like in terms, well, granted like a different story, but like he recently named the new Twitter CEO. Oh yeah. 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 That is a different story, but, but yeah. um, that's neither here nor there. He's no longer the lead tweet, but he is the, what is it? Chief technology officer though. Is he really still? Yeah, he's, is, still, he's, he's still, still. I think he's CTO. Okay. Yeah, he's I, I'm CTO. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that he's CTO. Oh my goodness! But if not, there will be something on screen right now here um, that will tell you differently. Um, he's a Lord yeah, Commander, or whatever it is. Yeah, the he's probably Galaxy Chief, Commander. Chief Tweet. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, we could we can move on to to one of your one of your stories. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. That was. I think that was good. That yeah. was good. Yeah, I like that. It was pretty good. And it's pretty yeah, it was pretty good. I was like, okay, we're gonna get canceled, by the way. By the are we? I mean, Elon like, for boys. what? We didn't say anything. Like, one way or the they're other, gonna, they're gonna rip us to shreds. I, they, 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 if anything, say, it's middle gonna, of the ground. They're gonna say that we don't like Rick and Morty. They're gonna say that we're not. We don't own Teslas, or we don't have rocket ships. The end. We I don't have a flamethrower. <laughs> they're gonna say all these things about us, and then they're gonna and they're destroy true. us on Twitter, which I don't have. <laughs> That's true. Uh, if we had a Twitter, you should follow us, but we don't. So yes, yes. too bad. All right. Uh,